Welcome Rimrims and everybody else to RimWorld Through the Ages, our multi-generational, multi-technological level RimWorld playthrough. Unlike anything we've ever done before, I, I floated the idea yesterday, of course, of having multiple generations as we go through here. Everybody ages a lot faster to represent the kind of passage through time from the perspective of Ohm, our immortal Arco seed here. And you guys seem to like the idea. We'll test it. I've never done anything like this before. I've never seen anybody else do anything like this before. And it's going to need a little bit of balancing. What we'll say is if it doesn't work, we'll just remove it. We'll just remove the mod and go back to the way, you know, things are, are intended to be played. But if it works, I think it could be legendary. And for those of you who want to play along with a similar theme, a similar concept with the kind of fast aging for, for humans so that they will have those, those families and die out and will have generations and generations across the campaign. If you want to play along, at the end of the video, I'll have a kind of instruction uh, as much as I can for that, what mods you're going to need. I actually can't update the mod pack anymore on the Steam Workshop. I've hit the character limit for the description for everything there is to set up because obviously this is quite complicated. So if you do want to play along, Check the end. I'll put a chapter or, or something like that so you can jump to that. So, as a recap, where do we stand currently? We have Ohm, Struppers, and Arcadius. Ohm and Struppers being uh, long-lived. Those are essentially immortal. Arcadius, our human man, age 20 and six days. Of course, that's going to fly by extremely fast as we as we progress on through. I think it's fairly safe to say we're in the Neolithic era at this point. We began as primitive with no technology at all. We've cracked out quite a lot of the early techs here. Uh, we, 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 I'd say we're pretty safely into Neolithic at this point. And then not to forget, we've got a prison full of people who aren't best pleased about it. And the sooner we can recruit these guys, the better. It's going to add a little bit of difficulty, of course, having everybody age a lot, lot faster. The last thing we want is by the time we've got the resistance down to be getting a whole bunch of old people working for us. But this is where a lot of psi powers like what of Trust and what of, what of Love are going to come in incredibly handy. One of them has that, right? Yeah, Phoenix. So if we get Phoenix fairly early on, getting Word of Love in early would be pretty fantastic for building up those families that we want to uh, to carry us through. Now, there is an option added by Children's School of Learning for, for I think, artificial impregnation with, with two Glitter World Medicine. There you are. So it, it requires specifically two uh, Glitter Medicine for that one. That will allow us to continue on if we are that desperate. But of course, Glitter Medicine, we can't craft... It's going to be incredibly difficult for us to get at this era. That could save someone's life. So I don't want to use it unless we really, really have to. Unless the colony is going to go extinct because we can't get enough people. Then maybe it's uh, maybe that's the only time we want to use it. But other than that, let's be very careful with it. On the subjects, we are in the middle of a raid right now. We've got a Megapede and a Spellipede from yesterday. Dearly, I'd like some sharp weapons to get through that. Oh, you know what we can do? We can finally use uh, the stabilizing touch here from Ohm. The reason I didn't use that yesterday is because it's... Well, firstly, we only had enough for one cast, but it's only a stabilizing. It doesn't It doesn't solve any... It, it doesn't cure any of these, and, it, and it, it isn't a permanent fix either. It just stops the bleeding temporarily. So he's still cut in the neck, and he will still bleed out if we don't deal with that right away. So it was a bit pointless for caravanning, mainly because we could only cast it once. We also had, like, five people. Ohm's already a little bit battered. So we're going to be very, very cautious about this. I think we'll have Struppers and Arcadius leading the charge. Ohm, you stand back and watch like a good manager. That sounds like a nice big fence around our base. Something like that. Okay, get in there. Get in there. I'm going to stick with him using his giant club for the time being. Ohm, fuck off. <laughs> you can come back in a minute. We'll see how these two get on first. Oh, the toxic. The toxic damage. Shit. Okay, okay. While it's busy goring out Struppers' eyes, let's get in there and see what we can do. This might be a man in black situation. I had to say, Ohm, I was thinking, what is the meaning of life? Well, you're about to find out, my friend. Don't go for Ohm. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Patch him up. Get him out of there. Patch him up. No, no, no. Get out of there. Tend. You two stand. You two stand and hold, hold this ground. Shit. Oh. Right eye has been bitten out. Jaw has been shattered. Arcadius. Arcadius is fine. Talk to build up serious, though. You're fine. You're not dead. You're just on the floor. Okay, okay. Get back in there. Get back in there. We have to. We have to. Kill it. Please, for the love of God, kill it. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. Oh, don't go for him. Go for Arcadius. Go for Arcadius. Nice, squishy, tasty Arcadius. Mm. What a hit. What a hit. Holy crap. Finish it off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ohm with the pocket sand. Stabilize, Megapede. No, I don't think I will. Thank God. How are you doing? 
Four hours. Eight hours, 14 hours. Right, you immediately get stabilized. Uh, you run home. Go and lie down. Catch up with you in a minute. 24 hours. You should be fine. Wow, this is horrible. We, we need some defenses. Okay, this is down. Six hours. It's okay. It's okay. Carry, carry, carry. Run fast. Run fast, Loam. Okay, and then immediately get to stabilizing after that. Okay, seven hours. Now let's put him in bed. Trying to avoid a little bit of an infection risk here. There's blood everywhere. Just all sorts of blood coating every surface. Bit of self-tending. There we go. All right, we're good. We're actually fine. It might be worth intentionally starting to build up a lot of side focus with, with Ohm. Put it on his schedule intentionally to try and get healing touch. Save on a huge amount of... Oh, it doubles the natural healing process of a creature. That is not good for mid-combat. It's good now, after the fact, to get them back on their feet sooner. So we're on Void Storyteller or something like that. That could be the difference between life and death. Phoenix's mind strength is changing. What does that mean? We got severe heat stroke. Oh shit. Uh well look, we've do we have do we even have passive coolers? No. <laughs> Can we research them? Yes. Okay. Um we're gonna need some pretty, pretty fast high tier research, my friend. Consuming rice. A jar of meals right there. But that's okay. You do you. Oh no. Stripper's got an infection in her torso. Any immortal characters need to be our absolute highest priority. Because they're going to be around for potentially the whole campaign, unless they die horribly to say I don't know an infection in the infection in the torso. That's pretty bad. Yeah, let's let's use whatever medicine we've got here. I think I think we need it. We do have glutatech medicine somewhere as well, don't we? We've got nine of them. 100% ten quality. Let's, let's tidy this room as fast as possible. You go back to bed. What are you doing? Recovering spear. Okay. Well, I guess we're a very big emergency. That could be kind of helpful. And then home. My God, home. You've got so much thinking to do. Please be fast. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is actually unreal. It's a bunch of red pandas. Oh my god, we're gonna have to club a bunch of red pandas. <laughs> Please, I just want to think who will win. One Arco boy or fancy raccoons. Get him. Get him home. Kill them all. Wow, this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> They're actually getting through. They've hit him actually quite a lot. They've thrown dirt in his eyes. He's done it. They hit him eight times, though. Okay, okay. No, don't attend to yourself now. God, I hate you, voice storyteller. They took his clothes? Red pandas took his clothes? I genuinely thought that was another raid, and I was about to scream. Lothar Chase. You know, I think I'm all right. We do also have Poopy and his vagabonds. Another desperate refugee. So two people. They claim to have lost their home in a recent attack. They want to stay here for 19 days so they can rest and regroup. So they will work and fight for free in this time. If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. How can I say no to a man called Poopy? Poopy's got plate mail. And Daisy has also bought a firearm, which is, of course, banned by Ohm. And I assume they're going to immediately throw those on the floor because, well, we don't know how to use them. So they're going to very suddenly forget as well. Oh, my God. Thank God I agreed to bring them here. What have we got this time? Four man hunting donkeys. Now, because Poopy and Izzy aren't part of our colony, apparently they can still use their gear. But if we were to recruit them, we, they, we would have the restriction from Arcane Tech kick back in. Wow, this is just horrible. Uh, Maybe get those guys to take them at melee. Izzy, back off. Get some, get some shotgun blast going on here. It is illegal to be using this shotgun, but I can't swap it mid-combat, unfortunately. I can't make him throw it on the floor. Right, get in there. No, don't rescue the donkey. Kill the donkey. Not that donkey. Should be a pretty easy raid, though. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. A guy in plate mail, ohm, and uh, someone with a shotgun versus four donkeys. Shotguns are illegal, though. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep that to death. I'm gonna queue up a whole bunch of huts, because if we, we, I mean, we've got, what, five prisoners? Five prisoners, not to mention now Poopy and Izzy as well. Finally, Ohm, you've remembered. You've remembered not to boil your prisoners. Oh, you're goddamn right. It's a party. No more void storyteller. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Phoebe Chillax. Oh, it couldn't be any better. Now, there's been a fairly common theme in the request so far for what to do with our, our little Neolithic village here. A lot of people have asked for some sort of great temple. Uh, an area where we could build monuments to each era. And maybe even to Ohm himself. Because let's be honest, if there are generations and generations of your family coming and going, but always the same glowy boy, 
maybe, maybe you should fear him. Maybe you should fear and love the glowy boy. 95% immunity, 79% spread on the infection. Stroopers should be absolutely fine here. What? What was that? Hello? Um, was it, well, it was a donkey getting back up? Genuinely thought we'd come under attack again. Thank you, Void. Very cool. Let's start giving everybody their own little huts here. Let's, let's, let's give them a little bit of freedom, a little bit of independence. Now, we can't really build any fur beds as nice as that would be. Um, we could butcher the red pandas, but even then, I'm not sure we get enough for a bed for everybody. Oh, it's Strooper's birthday party. Bear in mind, birthdays are going to happen pretty frequently, so we might want to, want to think about limiting the amount of bloody parties we can have. Oh, sod off, Poopy. This place is unkempt. I wish I didn't have to look at this. You don't have to. You can leave. I'm having a man called Poopy tell me that my base is messy. It's quite hot here. You're right, Izzy. I'm sweating. Oh, 37C. Yeah, you're... <laughs> You're really not wrong. We can't make any plain leather beds, but we can make we can make at least one light leather bed. Oh, finally some recreation. Massive. Oh, we can make a bed out of that cougar. <laughs> well, that really is the only other animal on the map again, huh? Hunting's gonna be impossible here. Holy crap! We have to use whatever whatever kind of small areas we've got here to go crazy on agriculture. It's starting to come along. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I've started growing a field of cotton over here as well, so that hopefully we can build some more beds eventually. For the time being, we're probably going to have to go with some more some more of the simple beds. Oh, that's tricky. Ice production. Because we're not going to be able to build a freezer for a very, 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 very long time. Or contained fire. Unlock some cooking techniques. Let's go with... Oh, I mean, right now we can preserve food. We've got a load of jerk meats because we're in the dry ass desert holy shit some of these prisoners are gonna take a lifetime to to recruit this one here i think it's phoenix 133.6 resistance remaining i'm gonna be a bit more generous then and we're gonna expand the prison out and we're gonna try and give them a bit more of a well i mean as much as we can a bit more of a luxury environment here we've invented fire yeah now we're properly neolithic primitive armor that could be really really good Okay, well, let's go for that first. Short bows, forget about it. Cocoa or pottery. Do we have any good artists, actually? That could be a really nice way to spruce up the prison. Um, Struppers isn't bad. Struppers has got enough on her plate. Let's stick with armor for the time being. I think that one... <laughs> I think that one's pretty arguably better than having some pots around. Oh, Phoebe, come on. Pirates with a psychic droner. Four pirates. Wow. Okay, um... They're not that far away, but that is a dangerous quest. I guess we'll get to building some of that armor then. And that is in here. So wooden armor, stone war mask, body armor, protective... Okay, here we go. Yeah. Protective helmet, protective braces, protective boots, body armor. That's middle layer. So we could also maybe throw something else. Holy shit, the moose headdress would be high tier on home. Got the ingredients. We can build out of Arcotech mass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm glad we took on Poopy and Izzy because they're they're actually genuinely really helping out here. Everybody's got their hands full. There's a job for everybody. Kind of nice if they wanted to join us. Oh, those pirates will no fear. <laughs> the defensive value is pretty terrible, but uh, yeah, that's that's really something, huh? Holy crap! Wait, of course we're not going to recruit any of these people. Strupus's jaw was bitten off. Ah, Warden Ohm it is. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, those poor pirates. There it is. An Arcotech Mass Battle Banner. I've no idea what this even does. Pain Shock Threshold plus 25%. That's actually not too bad. Ohm is Trauma Savant. We can't have Ohm as a Warden either. Oh, this is horrible. Warden Poopy, congratulations. Don't suppose we have any sort of primitive jaw replacement? No. No, I didn't assume so. Fences. Ooh, that could be good. No. Oh, come on. Well, thank God we got fences then in hindsight. I think we'll get to work on that straight away. Thank God we started these giant cactus farms because this is going to be expensive. Poopy spent enough time with Alias to understand their personality. Oh, I wonder if that makes them easier to recruit. 7.3 resistance remaining. Poopy, I had low hopes for you, but you've 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 done a good job here. I'm sorry. Sends a raid of 
Frogs refuses to elaborate further. Leaves. Now it's Randy Random. Thank you, Void. Very cool. A bunch of fallen star tribals from the frogs have arrived nearby. Oh, so these guys are tribal era, but can get higher quality gear. So, as you can see there, the, the hyperweave tribal wear. High grade steel, guardless katanas. Oh, God, it's weebs. Weebs. Come on out with your hands up. Final warning. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bunch up, bunch up, bunch up, bunch up, bunch up. Is he? We don't have a weapon for Izzy, unfortunately. Get him. Get him. Nice work. Okay, this is good. Hopefully, they'll take this guy out first. We can bring the others around. Holy shit. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Come up here. You move up to here. Very nice. Very nice. Get him on the flank. It's the battle banner. The battle banner and the moose headdress. It's, it's a game changer. Okay, this is down. Izzy is down. Nice. Good work. Good work. Good work. Struppers, come up and deal with Frankie. Holy crap. Are you okay? Bleeding out in six hours. Uh, honestly, you're kind of okay. They're fine. They're fine. By they're fine, I mean they're not going to immediately immediately die. Oh, Struppers, I'm so sorry. There's so little of you left. Parker free. Hey, cooking. Super mean gourmand jealous. One soul. What is that? This is the use of stacks and sleeves as a moral. That's kind of an endgame cloning thing. Okay. The Fallen Star Troubles are actually kind of similar to us. They're, they're, they're a kind of high-tech faction, I assume, that's been reduced down to a tribal nation. That's why they know about this cloning tech and have kind of hyperweave stuff. Sure. Kindred spirit. You know what? Actually, before we capture anyone new, let's save who we've got. Strooper is bleeding out in eight. Poopy bleeding out in four. Their name is Suskind Poopy. I fucking hate you. Okay, I think with that, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everybody's okay. They're going to be out for a few days, but they are fine. They're not fine. Poopy has an infection in his head. That, uh, we, we can't amputate that. Given that Poopy is our only warden right now, it's kind of high priority. 70%. I might use some medicine on you. We'll see how that progresses. Why not? Come on, Parker. Let's bring him along. Can we use the Katana's uh, long blades? Damn. Well, we can use the knife or we could use the club. Honestly, I think the club is better. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, food poisoning. Really? Oh. Oh, that's good. The game's had enough of us building our walls. Slowly. Cassandra Classic. Okay, fine. If it's not void, it's fine. Oh. The game's decided to give us him free yaks. Or in this case, free beds. That's a bad birthday right there. Alice Gray has reached the biological age of 35. Unfortunately, Alice Gray has gained the following disease due to aging. Chronic stomach disorder. Oh, nice. That's that's really helpful. What does that do? Oh, my God. And chronic kidney disease? Oh, shit. The <laughs> I mean, uh, we do need beds, though. God damn, they're expensive. 839 each for a round Joris. Uh, let's get rid of... We, we could sell some Arco fragments. We could also sell some Lucifer... A lot of the advanced components going to be a very, very long time before that's relevant. So let's sell those first. I guess we'll get rid of the Arco fragments because those don't have any use. Mass, we can use the building material, stuff more material. We can't with anything else. Now, these guys are a combat supply, so we can get something very, very good from this. Alpha Poly Protective Boots, for example. Um, I want to buy, if possible... There is an Anima Staff. Oh, man, that would be awesome. I'm going to buy the Anima Staff for for Ohm. Friendship ended with Giant Fucking Club. Arcadius, my friend, you get to enjoy the original Heavy Club of Ohm. Quite the honor. We might need a museum eventually. When we get up to like, the Industrial Era or the Space Era, a big museum with all the displays of our first. If we could keep, say, the, uh, the moose headdress all the way through to them, that would be incredible. We're also back to uh, Phoebe Chalak. So the way it works, it, it has a chance to change storytelling whether an event and occur. So this time we got a trade caravan, and that's what triggered it to switch over. We're just getting very lucky or unlucky, depending on how you want to look at it with our, with our storyteller changes. At least it's not void. Our first proper recruit. Alias, hello. You are the miner, correct? Yeah, I love mining. If we get a quarry fairly early on, you would be you would be fantastic. Immediately taking off your clothes. The weather is nice, at least. She says walking into a desert. Poopy thanks you for allowing him to stay at City on the Meadow for these 19 days. He is now moving on with his people. Wow. Goodbye, Poopy. Thank you for visiting. I sure hope we get to see Poopy again one day. 
More importantly, I sure hope we've got a warden that's capable of taking over. Nope. Oh, there's a problem. Okay. Um, well, Arcadius is better than nothing, which is exactly the skill that Alias has there. So now we've got a kind of rough border for all our little uh, little tribal village here. I thought we'd throw down some uh, some very, very rough cobblestones. It's quite literally just crushed limestone because we can't really make anything better than that, unfortunately. I want to build a temple for Ohm. And I'm thinking we could put it around the anima tree. So we're free to build wherever we like with regards to anima trees. Obviously, normally you're a bit more restricted. But because the AI can cast Berserk Pulse or whatever they want, whenever they want, I thought we could we could do a little bit of balance in our favor too. So we could put we put walls around it kind of... Uh, if we have kind of a central area where the grass is free to grow and then build the temple around that, that'd be kind of cool. Okay. What is that? Three elders? We had some pigs join as well, but they've been uh, uh, turned into beds. Six elders versus four of our people. Poopy, that traitor, took one of our best weapons. I gave him another giant club like the one Arcadius is using. Just took it with him. It's like a souvenir. What are you doing? You're trying to bust out my prisoners. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Get him. Okay, so Ohm is using the staff, which I assume is in a particularly good melee weapon. Obviously, very good for side casting. And does have full side focus. Maybe we went a little bit hard on the meditation then. Let's give him another couple of hours of uh, hours of work instead. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Let's get him in a lineup again. Okay, get in there. You go there. You come down here. Let's get you coming from under. There we go, there we go. I was just on Ben in melee combat. Whoa. What? trait is that? Martial artist, right. Melee combat, you can instantly disarm them. Let's also take that club as well. Definitely better than a poor quality here. Well, there we go. We might even be able to take a prisoner that way. How's everybody looking? Strew prison has been battered once again. Arcadius is doing fine. Looks as if he's been stabbed in the eye, though. Oh! They actually have been stabbed in the eye. And it's a permanent effect now. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey! My fucking walls, you leave that alone. If we can take one alive, we could get them that we could get their anima gear for for Ohm again. Let's use uh let's use healing touch on Struppers. It's a bit pointless because obviously we're not actually tending to it, but might heal a little bit faster. Okay, then we get to see how this works. Boom. Psychically accelerated healing. Physically induced hunger and exhaustion. Oh sorry, psychically induced hunger and exhaustion. Fine. Two hundred percent oh my god, it affects immunity gain speed too. Well, that's massive. Oh, that could be incredible. Fine. Okay, get in there. Arcadius, whenever you're ready, my friend. Dis oh, I mean, this disarm technique is, is incredible. This prison has already, already earned their slot in the colony. Fantastic. Get in there. And again, it's, it's like instantaneous. If we manage this well... So, is it when they strike at us or when we strike at them... Because we could just get this person to run a line on all of our enemies and disarm them all. Oh, well, that, that works well. Thank God for thank God for healing touch. Let's just get you guys in there. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted thinking about how useful this power is. Let's get healing touches going on everybody. The healing touch of the mighty Ohm will save you. Boy, we really are starting a cult. Poor, poor Stroopers. We need to get you some armor. <laughs> every, every single raid you're downed. Do we want to capture you? No permanent damage. Artistic 7, Xenophile, Anxious, Clumsy. Traits aren't great. Intellectual 2, Double Passion. We could train you up over uh, over a little while to be to be a good researcher. At long last, it's complete. Well, as complete as I guess I can build it. The mighty Temple of Ohm, which in hindsight would have been a bit, bit more thematic if I'd have made it. Ah, uh, the Omega letter, but never mind. And that is pretty much all we can do with it right now. We've got some benches. Uh, we've got a little, little path there. And uh, most of it is sand because we can't build bridges. Although, we can research bridges. And you might have noticed that over the course of the entire episode, I've had Arcadius working on one particular thing. And it is taking him a very, very, very long time for the centerpiece of the Great Temple of Ohm. Oh, fuck off. Where are they? Get out of here. Wow, there's actually quite a lot of them. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Damn it, okay, this, how long's that got? Two, okay, finish that off first. We'll get, uh, we'll get, we'll get these guys lined up, ready to go. Get them. Ohm, get down here. Okay, well, that's one down. Why, why did they come in in such a weird way? Like four different groups. 
Very strange. Okay, this we done with that uh we done with that centerpiece yet, pal? There it is. Oh, that's incredible. The limestone totem. It took him all day. The, this entire episode. And it's got 20 beauty. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. The carving bears a representation of a rectangle surrounded by hearts. The work conveys the emotions of persecution. Though few would expect it. The subjects are in front of three clowns. Yeah, their names are Omega, Struppers, and Arcadius. Oh, nice. Well, they dealt with that one pretty well. Uh, we could strip them. We could put that on. There we go. A little bit more. Are you mining my walls? What was that? They're breaking into the prison. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You get away from that. Cottery. Fucking palisade balls are doing nothing. Get them, mum. Get them, mum. We've got another one there. They're... Why are they trying to break into the prison? Have we captured another elder before? Uh, yeah, if you could actually, like, get in combat, though. Fine. Good work. Good work. Uh, let's... Let's deal with you first. Arcadius could go and be a distraction. We get his ass handed to him, but might stop them breaking the walls down. Yeah, go, go, go. Get him. Nice. Okay, Arcadius. There's another one down. Fantastic. Oh, this is Disarm McGrath. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. Arcadius is down. But fine. They've, they've decided to kidnap Arcadius. Nobody kidnap Arcadius. Uh, that's, that's impossible. How dare you? The great totem builder of Ohm. You would not kidnap Arcadius. They're in the prison. The prisoners are escaping. I mean, it's kind of a big brain play, but... Uh, okay, Struppers. Struppers, build that as fast as you can, please. Okay, we might have to break some prisoner legs as well. Is that all of them dealt with? Certainly looks like it. What a mess. Just take away that corner block quickly. They're in the prison stabbing the prisons. I don't know why. Why go for the... No, 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 no. Oi, uh, stand down. Okay, you build that there. Fantastic. There we go, there we go, there we go. We should be fine. You rescue Arcadius. Please break the prisoner. There we go, there we go. Okay, uh, attack the prisoner. Maybe with the club, though, rather than the spear. <laughs> okay, we could just go try to arrest rather than... There we are. Very nice. I guess we'll send you in to go and deal with the person who's, uh... Decided for some reason to break into our base and stab our prisoners. That's a high tier play Get him disarmed good work good work knock him down then they're in the prison ready to go. Oh What a play Welcome we'll have to put in a sleeping spot, but welcome and there it is Fantastic how much animal grass have we got there too nine? Okay, we're just under halfway there This has been I think this has been a pretty a pretty great day for the colony. We've gone from very simple tribe here to to fortified base we're, we're, we're working pretty pretty fast towards medieval but i feel like we've developed pretty well and we've we've come quite far as uh as a tribe or as now a town i suppose but even though chronologically time has gone by pretty slowly for for ohm for everybody else they've aged obviously much more rapidly as you would kind of expect, going from a little tribe to a, to a full-on town here. So Arcadius, when we started things today, was 20 years and 14 days. He's currently 30. Wow. If we're looking at 10 years an episode, that's quite, that's quite fast. But today has had a lot of downtime. We've had a huge amount of downtime today because we haven't had that many raids. Yesterday, by comparison, he only aged two years. Because that was a very raid-heavy day yesterday compared to today. So... We've got a lot of progress, but it has come at the cost of our people aging pretty fast. Remember what I said, though. We do have Glitter Tech Medicine. And if we're worried that our tribe might die out before we're able to get new tribe members in here, we can use that to, to make some pregnancies happen. So we could always use that on... We could always use that on her to get the next generation of the colony ready to go we'd have to build a school as well and start training them up but we could we can make that happen that is until we uh, of course we get some more reliable way to do things like word of love perhaps i think tomorrow though we may be on track for medieval we might be on track we can we can get a lot more research done now that we've actually got walls and defenses and houses and things like that. They're, they're kind of bare necessities but let's see where this will lead us i'm excited to uh, i'm excited to see what the next generation holds 
thank you in the meantime, of course, to the patrons. Don't forget to stay tuned after this if you do want some help with uh, setting up the mods that we've got here to kind of emulate similar things to what I've got going on. Thank you to Kevin, Michael Mullen, Scary Scurvy, Sleepy257, Evan Crocker, Little Gump19, Veneta Sparrow, Luke's Universe, Encra Slave, Turtle Boy Ryan, Chaos and Dying, Nil Dreath, Castle, Baking Kitten, Hippie Springbeer, I Am Sagatair, and Darth Hawk for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thanks to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Zerato, Sepi141, Therabees, Gavin, Cody Cope, Frobear, Thura, Monty. Astros the Great, Lunatic, Duke, Sheng Damast, Kato, and Irish Batman as well. So the settings I've got right now for the multi-generation rapid aging is experimental. It'll, it'll take a lot of balancing as we kind of go through. Maybe generations are too fast. Maybe they're not fast enough. It, it of course, depends on what actually happens during an episode, right? But the important thing is we're, we're getting hopefully something out of it. If we only got one generation, it's a bit of a shame. It kind of defeats the point. I wanted a multi-generation thing, and that's what makes it so hard to balance. What I've got going on right now, and what I think I will even tweak maybe after today. Um, so we're using the mod Rapid Aging, is uh, worth pointing out. I'll add it into the mod pack, but of course it, it doesn't do anything by default. So I'll add it into the mod pack, but you have to set it up yourself. So it's, uh, sorry, Faster Aging, the mod is called. So the settings I've got currently are that humans... So, so the way it works is you set up a threshold age. And the way that works is you can have them age slower or faster after a certain point. So let me try and illustrate that with what I've got going on here. So humans will age 20 times faster before they reach an age threshold, a certain age. And that age I've set up is 50, at which point they'll age 30 times faster. Now, the reason I wanted to do it like this is so that we've got people who are able to get that opportunity while they're young enough and while it's still relevant to their age to to start the families and work in the colony but then when they get past a certain age when they get into their old age they're a bit more useless we can accelerate through them and, and that generation can die off kind of to represent the the lifespan that you would have had in neolithic and medieval eras right people wouldn't really live to 18 90 like you would maybe in regular remote if your colony is good enough so what I'm actually kind of tempted to do, and we'll say this is the final thing then, we'll make it so they accelerate 15 times faster before they hit the age of 50, and then we'll say 35 times faster past the age of 50. That way they've got more years as useful colonists, where they can potentially have families naturally, and then they'll die off a lot faster when they're past, don't get me wrong, 50, they're obviously still incredibly useful to the colony. Some of the best characters have been above the age of 50, so you're still sacrificing that but to balance it around the ability for them to for the, for their children's schools and learning mods to come in that's what i'm aiming for we'll see how this works maybe it doesn't work maybe i'll have to tweak it a little bit more but this is what i think we're going to roll with for the time being might set it to 18 because it's in uh because days are in uh, so, so years are 60 days right and then quadrums are what is it it's 30 my math adds up, but I can't explain why. Don't worry about it. We'll set that to 18, and then it'll be 35. Really, we should, we should remake it. I have a common multiple with 60, which it does, but it's a lot. <laughs> Obviously, it does, but it's a little bit, uh, a little bit extreme there. We won't worry about that. Anyway, that's fine for the time being. Let's see how that goes, and then I'll maybe in a few episodes' time do a similar thing to this at the end of an episode where we rebalance it, depending on how it goes.